Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions Insider Commentary on Friday, March the 17th. It's St. Patrick's Day. And it's significant from the standpoint that last year on this date is when a top occurred in the live and feeder cattle markets. Now, no years like uh, every year. Uh, they're all different. But seasonally, this is a, a point where you really don't want to be long in the cattle market as uh, we do tend to work lower here for the near term. And uh, we are very strong this week as far as cash news goes, box beef goes, futures. All strong here as uh, we saw the highest close in April live cattle and feeders since about January 20th and 23rd, respectively. So um, some very strong markets here. But again, seasonally, we do start to work lower. And this was the high date a year ago. And then prices worked sharply lower. So uh, we don't want to try and pick a top in these markets. But I think if you are a producer who's looking at uh, longer term, wanting to get some hedge protection in place, I don't know that selling futures is a great way to go here. I think uh, if you want to do something with June cattle or August cattle, I would do some put options, leave the upside open as uh, those markets are heavily discounted. There shouldn't be very much selling against the April contract. We're holding at least a $10 discount to the current cash prices. And with that discount, that means nobody really wants to sell a discount like that. Uh, cash is going to have to come down. Futures is going to have to come up. One of the two, and June cattle have another twenty or another ten dollars, a total of twenty from the current cash prices. So they're already holding a huge uh, discount, anticipating that cash is going to fall probably about twenty dollars into the summer. And um, there's very difficult to try and hedge that. So there is not any great hedging opportunities out there. But um, if you want to do something, I would suggest doing put options uh, rather than doing a straight hedge. Now, uh, in the grains, very quiet overnight. We were a little bit lower in soybeans and meal, corn, wheat mixed here. We look for very quiet mixed type of trade. Check out the chart of the U.S. dollar. We put that in our newsletter this morning. The dollar has free fallen over the last week since the Fed announcement, and that should be positive for our grains. In fact, we've had uh, out of four days this week, two of them have seen soybean sales. We've also seen a wheat sale and a corn sale, so we're still seeing some decent exports, and uh, that doesn't look to change anytime soon with the lower U.S. dollar. That'll be positive for our grain markets. As we look ahead here into next week, cold storage cattle and feed report will be coming out. Um, there's an option expiration. It's April option, so not a major deal in the uh, grains. That's a week from today. Um, contact any of our offices. They'd be glad to assist you on questions you have or how to open your account. Uh, it's a great time to open an account because we just put out a new newsletter about why you should be looking at buying calls for the summer, and uh, that's specifically in the grain market. So um, take, a, take a look at our newsletter. You can contact us and get a free copy of it. No obligation there. Just uh, let us know if, where to send it to. This has been Brian Hoops for Midwest Market Solutions. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.